The Mouse and the Snake by Vikram Seth. One fine morning, two small mice, much against their friend's advice, visited a room where grain, undisturbed for months, had lain. Other mice had entered. None lived to eat and tell, not one. But the two friends, unpoliced, broke in and began to feast. And their laughter fell and rose till their blood with horror froze. Gold and shiny, vicious, long, venom fanged, hypnotic, strong, slid a snake towards the pair, swallowed one right then and there hissed obscenely at the other. That's the first, and here's another. And when she stood, shocked and still, sprang at once to make his kill. Suddenly the mouse unfroze, glared at him and twitched her nose. Every time he slid or sprang, dripping venom from each fang, out beyond his reach, she leapt till the snake, grown tired, crept to his hole, slid first his head, then his gleaming overfed trunk in, so that just his tail jutted out to thrash and flail. Swift as rage, the little mouse rushed towards the killer's house, bit his tail once, twice, again, clung to it till wild with pain, hissing wrath, the snake backed out, swerved his body round about, lunged toward the mouse and tried swallowing her. But she leapt wide every time he lunged till he, wriggling back exhaustedly, slid inside his hole once more. Then, exactly as before, down she clamped with might and main on his tail till mad with pain. Yet again the snake emerged. Thus the battle ebbed and surged, and the mouse fought on and on till her strength was almost gone when the snake without a sound, spat the dead mouse on the ground and with mangled slither stole unopposed into his hole. Then the mouse came up and cried bitter tears for her who died. Squeaking sadly and bereft, corpse in mouth, she sobbed and left. This was seen by Mr. Yang, when his friend, the poet Chang, heard the mouse's story later, eager to commemorate her, as he walked back to his house, he composed The Faithful Mouse, where in elegaic meter he extols the snake defeater and in couplets sad and stoic celebrates her acts heroic, acts that prove that shock and pain, death and grief are not in vain. Which fine lines, alive or dead, neither of the mice has read.